Hello, of uh, this Tick and Fuse team, welcome back to another review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tim and T, the RW ongoing series, is 149, and oh boy, this issue was, didn't really go the way that I expected it to go, with everything that happened in the last issue, with them like, sort of building up to the big threat of Armagon, and Armagon going back to Future Japan, and stuff like that, I was really expecting it to really like head in that direction and you know have the like Donatello Venus go back to Field Japan or something like that but no we got to see Future Mikey which was a nice surprise but at the same time was not really the way that I was expecting this whole story to go. Um okay so with the first bit I feel like is the uh is one of the most weirdest part about this issue because on the one hand it's short simple and just boring but also, on the other hand, there was a little, of, I want to say, backlash from the scene um, when they, when the official like preview pages were released. So in this bit here, we do get to see the whole team in the farm. They're fighting uh, a future Bob, and there's not really too much to it other than just the fighting him, and then he like talks to them, and then he t uh, changes Lita back into being human. Now, there's a lot of things going on with this, uh, which I kind of believe <laughs> we're getting to this point, and yeah. Um, so, with the, like, you know what, first of all, I want to talk about, uh, Arm uh no, not Armagon, Bludgeon. He's there in actual protection form, but he says that he'll only be there, but only for a matter of time, and, he, you know, his powers might go out, which, you know, what a coincidence, he'll go out when they need him the most, and all that, so... Yep, uh, <laughs> um, there's that, um, but yeah, this bit, there's not really too much to it, and like I've been saying with majority of this stuff, with the few, uh, present day stuff, it is just so boring, like, not much is happening, and with the Bob bit, which, um, was okay, I wanna say, I mean, him changing Lisa back, uh, it's weird, I wanna say, I mean, I'm, I, I still can't, I, I, I don't know how to really like feel about it because I mean I'm just really disappointed that they're doing this and they're going in this direction. I mean I really like Lita as a character and then now they're changing into like another human character which just, I don't know, just feels like just taking away everything from her character and stuff like that. So I feel like this was a major downgrade for her character but also at the same time so many like, I, I got so many questions about it just because of the future stuff, the future Lita and stuff like that, so there's that. Um, but one part which I didn't really like all too much was that when the wormhole was closing, April and Leo were like sort of like basically making the wormhole stable and was able to keep it open. Now with April like being able to do this, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, it's April, she knows science and possibly magic or something like that, so it's understandable why she would know how to do this. But Leo, it just feels so out of place and weird for Leo to be the one to know how to keep a wormhole open through magic, science, and stuff like that. It just feels so out of character for him. But I mean, just because like, if you really think about like in terms of like like just like, how much time he like had to like learn all this, it was only what a day or two he learned all that and was able to keep a wormhole open through magic and science. It just feels so weird now, character for Leo to do this, but. It's there, so that's that. So then with the uh, the future stuff, which was yeah, I'm, I'm one I was a little, little bit disappointed just because I was expecting it to be like the toys going to or like Don Donny Venus and Bob going to Future Japan, but instead they didn't. So for the I want to say first half of the future stuff, we got to see them running through the streets uh, of Mutant City, and then Jenica bring them to the uh, old church and tell them to go through the wormhole and better go to the future Donatello. So yeah, there's that. There's not really too much to it. It's just one of those things that kind of happened, really. But then they get teleported to Future Mikey's room. And I, I, I mean, I was, I was really interested by this because with everything that was building up to over the past few issues with Mikey and how he's been, it was really interesting. Like, and also with stuff we should do actually talk upon in this uh, part here with Mikey, I just found it to be so fascinating that we did go down these routes just because in this bit here we do discover that Mikey has become rich and famous 
And basically, with the radiant gravity thing, it really threw him off. And now he's like, it's all like, the, like there's no like, like people are really coming to him for him, or they're coming to him just because of the radiant gravity. And I did find that to be really interesting. And even seeing it, like how it's like really affected him with, to the point, basically now he doesn't really understand it. Like people are coming to like, him for like general reasons or just using him, which is like really understandable, like for him to be like this. And I found like it to be a really fascinating way to really take it down this route. Which, yeah, it's, I, I mean, I do like if I are like posing these questions. And I do hope that when Justin Aaron does come on to write this book again, I do hope that he does like actually expand upon this a little bit further because. I do feel like there's a lot to be explored here because, I, 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 I mean, I don't know, but I feel like there's a lot to be explored here because what they can do with it, but at the same time, what can you really do with the storyline? So I feel like there's a bit of that, but I did find it really interesting with the things which I did, like, sort of talk about in this part here. But other than that, there wasn't really too much to this part. Uh, we did get to see future Bob, he comes and he brings Amagon and... Yeah, the Donny, Venus, and Bob, they get teleported away or something, and yeah, Bob gets transformed into future Bob, and yeah, it's okay, I want to say. There's not really too much to it other than just that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. And I mean, I, I don't know, I thought, that, like, when I left this issue off, it was really underwhelming. It's just like, oh no, Bob's got turned evil. Oh no, who cares? <laughs> but oh, I just feel like there's a lot of stuff in this issue that was okay enough, but I feel like this issue was just a big foot issue to just get us from like, just like going for like last issue to next issue. It's just so disappointing that we like this is what they did for this issue, but there were some interesting points in this issue, which I won't lie, I did find really interesting, but I just feel like this issue was just a big waste of time, really. Uh, but, yeah. Now, with the uh, art, um, yeah, it's it's still really great. The artwork is really great. The mouths, however, are still... Um, yeah, this issue, I really noticed how the mouse are... Uh, oh, God. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So there's that, but yeah, I mean, overall, this issue, it was a pretty decent issue with what they were saying up, but I just feel like this issue was not really needed, I feel like this one, except from like maybe the present day stuff, other than that, most of this stuff in this issue was just more or less further to get us to the next issue, which is really disappointing. And the reason why I say that is just because I feel like with the last issue, where they set things up, it was set up in like a really interesting, fascinating way for them to really explore and do stuff in like in like next issue. But yeah, here they just didn't do anything really. I felt like the majority of the stuff which happened in this issue could have been done like the like I want to say like a few pages of the last issue. But I felt like it was really like drawn out and it, it was just okay. I want to say. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this issue. Do you like it? Do you not? And uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be today, guys. If you doesn't, please share, let's just grab no stuff. Goodbye, yo, and bye.